Okay, we're going to be talking about how to add ribs on a basket with a bow tie lashing. So let's review here. We have an ear got, uh, uh, on each basket, okay? And we've elected on this basket to use a bow tie. All right, so the outside hoop is always the handle, the inside hoop is always the rim, okay? So we're gonna be building the body of our basket down here where your little tag shows up, okay? So the first thing to do is make sure these guys are wet. Warm water is always better than cold water, but that's what we got right now, so that'll work. So. Um, what we're going to be using for our rib material is quarter inch oval oval. I'm pretty sure you can't tell what that is, but that's what it is. Now, the most important thing about adding ribs is the slipe. Okay, see how that's nice, long, and tapered? What you don't want is that if you've got a blunt cut like that, it's not going to work. And you're going to think, I hate rib baskets. So, First secret to rib baskets, nice long tapered edge, okay? So I need three points here, one, two, three, and I'm going to make the first one right there. So I'm going to use my awl and just open up the space, okay? Now I want this guy, and it gets placed in there, it doesn't get shoved in there until for a long way, but anyways. I want this either a little longer than the hoop uh, because that way it gives me a little bit of room to maneuver in case I've made an error. And um, rib baskets are all about eyeballing. So I'm going to make my cut. Oop, and that's going to shift on me. That's not good my little hole in here. Make sure that I'm back on center. I could have tightened that up a little bit. And then these get placed in there. They're not in there far. They're just placed in there. Okay. So now I'm going to do this two more times on this side. I'm going to put a hole about in the center and a hole that in the center here with my awl. Okay, once again I'm using quarter inch oval oval. Make my cut. Now this one is going to be the pivotal rib. So I want this to be, sometimes you got to open up that hole a little bit more. Um, and when you're making your cuts, you can use just regular basketry shears. They work fine too. I just tend to make my cuts with a with a Felco, and they work fine too. It's just what you want to use. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that guy in there once again. You're not going in for a mile. It's just placed in there. So this I want to be. A little further out than this and about flush with this so you're looking at it this way okay and once again I always give a little bit more and that way if I've got to trim it up I can try to make it grow I haven't figured that one out yet so I'm gonna open up that hole again a little bit and stick that guy in there and remember it's not going in there a mile it's just getting placed all right so I've got one more that I'm gonna do on this side and then I'm going to do the other side. Once again, I stick a hole in there. And I'm going to stick a hole over here. Grab my rib material. Stick it in that hole. 
Now this one, when I'm putting it in, I want it, unless I'm making a, I'm making a melon basket so they have a flat bottom. If I was making a gizzard basket or a, uh, an egg basket, I would want that out further. Uh, but because I'm going to try to make this flush with the bottom, I'm going to bring it in some. So, uh, remember a, a gizzard basket, which are cool too. They have those big um, pockets on them. Or an egg basket. So, that's how that starts on one side. When you're weaving a rib constructed basket, you weave it upside down. So, um, I'm going to do three on this side. And then I'm going to show you how you start that weave. 